seeing the numbers going up, it has me a little bit concerned. So today I'm gonna go and make sure that we have enough groceries to get us through if we do have to quarantine. And I just wanna make sure that we are prepared for that. Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today I am gonna to head to Costco and grab a lot of stuff because with the growing numbers of COVID-19 here around us, I'm a little bit concerned that there might come a time when we have to quarantine here at home and we will not be able to go out and get groceries. So with Austin's high school going back to the hybrid schedule and seeing the numbers going up, it has me a little bit concerned. So today I'm gonna to go and make sure that we have enough groceries to get us through if we do have to quarantine and I just wanna make sure that we are prepared for that. I grabbed Claire from school. She's gonna come and help me gather up everything we need here from Costco. She said she's gonna help push the cart. Or she actually asked if I needed two carts because we're gonna grab so much stuff. <laughs> I think we'll just do one flatbed cart today and hopefully we will grab everything we need on one cart. Yeah, hopefully. You think? Maybe. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Now look Claire, here's the gingerbread houses that we got. You think you can make yours look like that? Nope. What? It's gonna be even better. It's gonna be better than that? No, it's gonna be worse. <laughs> you can do it. It's pretty cool. That's our goal, okay? Okay. For it to look like that. This would be fun for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah? We can get some Christmas shopping done while we're in here too. Yep. So I can get myself some Christmas shopping. <laughs> All right, so on top of getting stuff that we need at home, we're also gathering up um, like plates and silverware and napkins and cups and things like that that we need for Thanksgiving. We're going to Wyoming for Thanksgiving and we have been put in charge of all of the paper products and so we're gathering those up while we're here so we don't have to hopefully come back before Thanksgiving and get anything else that this will be our last trip before we head to Wyoming next week. We have a box of those. We also need to head back this way and grab some baggies. The gallon ones right here, Clever. A M A. No. What'd you find? It. You can't lift it. No. Thirty-five pounds. Don't do it one hand, Mom. No. What we should get while we're here is gifts for your teachers. Do you think your teacher would like this? And gifts for me? <laughs> Not gifts for you, gifts for your teacher. Oh, for me. So wait, what's in this bag of popcorn? <laughs> this gigantic bag of popcorn. Caramel popcorn, Ooh, zero popcorn. popcorn, hot cocoa popcorn, with marshmallows, cheddar cheese, snickerdoodle, cinnamon toast, and kettle corn. This oh sounds God. like a bag for me. <laughs> that is a big bag of popcorn. They'll be eating popcorn for days. Do you think the teacher would like that or should we keep looking over here and see what they have? Look over here, look. This is my favorite chocolate. Toblerone is delicious. Look at these yummy mint sandwiches. This sounds like my teacher. Xbox? Yep. I don't think so. Maybe. <laughs> no. Let's keep looking down here. I bet they have some better treats Avengers. that she might like. Yeah. Those are games. She's not going to like that. No. Oh, these look good. Farm, Claire. Look at these, caramel pretzel rods. Okay, we made it home from Costco, and as you can tell by my red nose, it is getting cold outside. <laughs> my nose turns red whenever the weather gets cold, automatically, just, it's red all the time. Um, I wanna show you guys really fast what we grabbed from Costco tonight. So tonight was more about gathering up stuff that we love to eat all the time, and I kinda doubled up on everything. So, got bread for the kids' sandwiches each day. This chicken alfredo we love, um, that'll be for dinner tonight. We love these, these are a great side for any meal. We found this gelato there tonight. There's like pumpkin pie, um, eggnog, caramel apple, peppermint bark, and of course Claire had to try that. So we got that to try for dessert tonight. Fruit snacks, baggies, tomato soup, easy dinner. That's super duper delicious. Popcorn, of course we doubled up on the chicken tacos. More snacks. These types of stuff is the things I really wanted to have on the toothbrushes and toothpaste, bath soap. They have these awesome like roasting pans right now. So I grabbed that because that would come in really handy when I'm doing things. 
these teriyaki chicken bowls. We love those. Of course, the pork. This is Clay's new favorite cereal. Our mini drumsticks. Just things like that. We grabbed these soaps because we had the idea, Claire and I, that we are going to give these as thank you gifts to their teachers with maybe a little treat, like a gift card to Swig or something like that as a thank you. So that will be coming up this week. So be sure to hang out with us all week and see that. I found this jacket for Clay. It's actually super, really, like super nice. Inside it has this fur. I'm just gonna love that. Stocked up on those for dishwasher. And then of course, toilet paper and paper towels. So in the event that we have to quarantine, hopefully we do not, but we should be stocked up and be able to survive for the 14 days. <laughs> maybe. Think. Maybe. <laughs> You guys have never tried Costco's um, chicken Alfredo. I highly recommend it. It's super easy. Bring it home, cover it with tin foil, stick it on a cookie sheet, and throw it in the oven for like an hour. And then, voila, dinner is done. It's super easy. I love it for nights that we are really, really busy. And tonight is one of those nights. So I'm gonna quickly cover this and get it in the oven. We just finished up dinner, and Clay came home and informed me that the job in Hawaii that he's gonna do in a few months finally came through and they are 100% on board it's gonna happen so I want to have him show you guys the drawings that he's done of this thing so here's a 3d view of it uh, it'll have a big custom hood right here that they're having made and uh, it'll be out of metal and uh, the ceilings are super tall they're almost 11 feet so these cabinets are really tall here. They'll have uh, some like raised panels coming across the back right here. And the countertop will overhang. And then they've got two uh, 42 inch sub-zero fridges. And then this side right here walks around into the pantry right here. Then on this side, he was showing me he's got a table that's going that can fit at least like, I think like 40 people. Oh my God, it's so huge. It's, the table is super long, so, but. That's it, and then uh, we'll be doing some cabinets inside this pantry. They haven't got us the measurements yet. That's supposed to happen tomorrow. You walk out these sliding doors right here, walk out here, they've got a pool right here, and then just past that uh, is where the ocean is. I'm on a time crunch just a little bit. These cabinets have gotta be built and in a shipping container by somewhere between like December 15th and December 20th. And so they ha haven't given us an exact day yet but so I've got to get them ordered because it takes my company at least three weeks to get them built. And with Thanksgiving, everybody's kind of taken off you know, half that week. So we will uh, be lucky if we get them on that container in time. So yeah, just got to get them uh, ordered and, and finished up tonight. So everything will work out, hopefully. Well, it looks awesome. And I am super jealous that I don't get to go to Hawaii with him, but maybe I'll just have to hop on a plane and surprise him, <laughs> even though he doesn't know. Because it's, my birthday weekend when he'll be out there. So happy birthday to me, I'm going to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> I told Claire at Costco today that I would take her to Swig tonight to grab a drink and a treat. So we're gonna head there really fast and grab some treats for everybody. Austin and Owen are gonna hang out here with Clay. So just me and the girls and my mom is in town. So we're gonna go grab the treats really fast. We'll come back and maybe sit down and watch a little bit of a movie. <laughs> What drink did you get? Oh my gosh. I got You're making a, a mess. Tabby or uh, bubba. Tabby yoga things. Pina colada? Yeah. Yeah. That's what Claire got. And Austin. Who we got? The girls got pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. I grabbed a Dr. Pepper, of course. Alright, who wants to sit down and watch Hallmark? Carmen? Owen, you wanna watch Hallmark with me? Oh, it's like a big, no. Oh. Big fat, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it because my favorite one is on right now. You just watch them over and over and over and over and over and over again. No, there's new ones on. See, these two girls are all in it. Yep, the same girl. switched at Christmas. This is one of my favorites. All right, guys, we are wrapping up the video for today. Today was a great day until we got the news that my grandma, who was 85 in a nursing home, unfortunately was tested positive today for COVID-19. So they have taken her out of the nursing home and she's in the hospital. Um, 
We are hoping that when the morning comes, there's better news when they get her um, all checked in and on oxygen and things like that. We're hoping that all of her levels will go up and that she'll be able to fight through this. She has asthma really bad, so that's the one huge concerning thing at this point. So um, we'll be praying for her that she will be able to get over this and get well. We appreciate you guys watching our videos. We love you all, and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow.